In the grand tapestry of American lives, few stories are as intriguing and multifaceted as that of Janet Jackson. With her name etched in the annals of music history, her life is a harmonious blend of fame, fortune, and an enduring legacy. From the melodies that have reverberated around the world to the enigmatic choices she's made in the realms of wealth and home, this is a journey that delves into the opulent lifestyle, the impressive net worth, the majestic houses, and the gleaming cars that have all played a part in the life of one of America's most iconic talents. Janet Domita Jo Jackson born on May 16, 1966, in Gary, Indiana, she emerged as a multifaceted sensation, a singer, songwriter, actress, and dancer. But she was so much more than that. Janet was a trailblazer, pushing the boundaries of creativity and social consciousness, all while embracing her own provocative, artistic vision. Her elaborate stage performances were more than just shows they were transformative experiences that transcended mere entertainment. Picture this, it was the era when MTV was just finding its footing. And there was this force of nature, Janet Jackson, whose sound and choreography became the catalyst for MTV's meteoric rise. The world watched in awe as she not only claimed her fame but also shattered gender and racial barriers along the way. Her lyrics, rooted in social issues and personal experiences, turned her into a role model for an entire generation. But let's rewind a bit, shall we? Janet was the youngest of the Jackson family, and she made her dazzling debut at the MGM Grand. The spotlight beckoned, and she answered, starring in the television variety series, The Jacksons, in 1976. Throughout the 70s and early 80s, her talent continued to shine on shows like Good Times, Different Strokes, and Fame. Then, in 1982, she inked a record deal with A&M Records, setting the stage for her legendary pop music journey. The magic truly began with her third and fourth studio albums, Control, in 1986 and Rhythm Nation 1814, in 1989. Collaborating with producers Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, she weaved elements of rhythm and blues, funk, disco, rap, and industrial music into her art. This fusion catapulted her to crossover success in the realm of popular music. In 1991, the world witnessed Janet's groundbreaking moment when she signed not one but two record-breaking, multi-million-dollar contracts with Virgin Records. She was now one of the highest-paid artists in the industry. And if you thought her talent was confined to the studio and stage, think again. In 1993, she took her first leading role in Poetic Justice. With her next two studio albums, Janet, in 1993 and The Velvet Rope, in 1997, Janet embraced her public image as a sex symbol. Her records, coupled with provocative music videos and electrifying live performances, left an indelible mark. Some critics raised eyebrows, but the world couldn't help but quote and praise her. By the late 90s, Billboard magazine declared her the second most successful recording artist of the decade in the United States, trailing only behind Mariah Carey. Then came the release of All For You in 2001, coinciding with an MTV icon special celebrating her immense impact on the recording industry. Janet's success was astronomical, she sold more than 100 million records, securing her place among the world's best-selling music artists. Her catalog was a treasure trove, boasting hit singles like Nasty, Rhythm Nation, That's The Way Love Goes, Together Again, and All For You. With 18 consecutive top 10 singles on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart, she set a record among female artists that still stands today. In fact, she's the only artist in history to have seven commercial singles from one album, Rhythm Nation 1814, in the top five positions. Billboard's recognition was not in short supply, ranking her seventh on their list of the top 100 artists of all time in 2008, and fifth on their top 50 R&B artists of the last 25 years, in 2010. And in 2016, she was crowned the second most successful dance club artist after Madonna. But her journey was more than just chart toppers it was a collection of accolades. Janet boasts 5 Grammy Awards, 11 Billboard Music Awards, 11 American Music Awards, an Academy Award nomination, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and 8 Guinness World Records entries. In 2019, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame recognized her undeniable impact on the industry. Wow that's amazing! With such success, it is extremely normal for her to have a luxurious life, right? Luxury apartment, nestled amidst the hustle and bustle of Manhattan's vibrant heart, Janet Jackson's urban sanctuary stood as an emblem of elegance and luxury. For nearly a quarter of a century, she called a 2,100-square-foot apartment at one Central Park West home. 
Here, within the confines of these meticulously designed walls, she crafted the chapters of her life. The tale begins in 1998 when she first acquired this opulent abode for a price tag of $2,800,000. A sprawling haven with three bedrooms and an array of bathrooms, it offered not only comfort but also coveted views. The city's heartbeat, Central Park, played a starring role from almost every angle, save for the kitchen, where perhaps the aroma of culinary artistry took precedence. And as the day bled into night, the twinkling lights of billionaires' rose supertall towers painted the city's skyline with a touch of mystique. Floor-to-ceiling windows served as portals to a panoramic wonderland, they brought the green expanse of Central Park and the ever-evolving cityscape right to her doorstep. With ceilings soaring to ten feet, the apartment embraced an aura of spaciousness and grandeur. But it wasn't just about space it was a reflection of her taste and sophistication. A home library adorned with custom millwork, a haven for quiet contemplation and literary journeys, awaited within. An entrance hallway beckoned to open living and dining areas where stories were shared, laughter echoed. And memories were etched, this luxurious cocoon was no ordinary residence it was a condominium attached to the iconic Trump International Hotel situated at the crossroads of Columbus Circle and the southwest entrance to Central Park. Yet, in 2022, the time came for Janet Jackson to bid farewell to this cherished haven. With a new chapter on the horizon, she sold her Manhattan apartment for a remarkable $8,800,000. But that's just the old house she lived in. So what now? Let's see it now. Current mansion. Amidst the sun-kissed landscapes of Bel Air, California, this magnificent estate, sprawling across 40 acres, boasted 18 bedrooms, a testament to opulence and abundance. But it was more than just a place to rest one's head, it was a realm of extravagance. Here, you'd find a helipad, a gateway to her world from the skies above, and not one, not two, but three swimming pools, each a liquid oasis in its own right. And for those inclined towards some competitive fun, a badminton court beckoned for spirited matches. But the grandeur didn't stop there. This property, representing a fraction of her immense net worth, was a universe unto itself. Imagine stepping into a home theater, immersing in cinematic wonders, or finding solace in a nuclear bunker, a stark reminder of an ever-changing world. There were 20 bathrooms, each an oasis of serenity, and a 70-seat cafeteria, where laughter and conversations flowed as easily as gourmet delights. The heart of this mansion was the expansive great room, adorned with imported German oak floors, it was a space where relaxation, dining, and culinary artistry came together harmoniously. And what's a grand room without a fireplace? It warmed one end, casting a cozy glow over the elegant furnishings. A library, tucked in a quiet corner, whispered of intellectual pursuits, while another fireplace danced with flickering flames. Janet's discerning taste extended to minimalist furniture and furnishings, exuding an air of refined simplicity. And in the master bedroom, a glass wall beckoned, offering a direct passage to the backyard, where nature and architecture merged seamlessly. This wasn't just a mansion it was a reflection of Janet Jackson's style, taste, and vision. It was a piece of paradise amidst the California hills, where luxury and comfort coexisted, a place where her story unfolded in every corner. In every corner. Cars, embark on a journey through the revving engines and gleaming exteriors of Janet Jackson's exceptional car collection. Each vehicle in her possession tells a unique story. Dot. First is the car Porsche 356 SC Cabriolet stands as a symbol of classic allure. It made a memorable appearance in the music video for You Want This, an embodiment of timeless elegance, with a price that has surged from $4,000 to a staggering $100,000 today. But the classic beauty doesn't stop there. The 1959 Cadillac Miller Meteor Ambulance, famous as the inspiration for the ECT-01 in the original Ghostbusters films, has also graced Janet's videos. This amalgamation of Cadillac and Miller Meteor, long before modern mobile hospitals, has an enduring charm. Picture the 1968 Volkswagen Karmann Gia Coupe, an embodiment of post-World War II optimism. Born of a collaboration between Gia, Karmann, and VW, it embodies the spirit of rejuvenation. And let's not forget the 1957 Austin Healey, a charming British two-seater, adding a dash of excitement to the collection. Although it won't break speed records, its 124 horsepower is more than enough to quicken one's pulse. In 2001, Janet's All For You Global Tour took center stage, and Jaguar was her main sponsor, introducing the world to the midsize X car. The Jaguar X-Type, 
with its all-wheel drive and 231 horsepower V6 engine, was a symphony of luxury and power. But the collection doesn't stop there. The 1946 Chrysler DeSoto Suburban Custom Taxi, reminiscent of classic movies, and the 1966 Ford Thunderbird, a vehicle built for comfort rather than speed, each have their unique charm. Yet, the true gems are revealed in her contemporary collection, a white Lamborghini Murcielago LP640, with a jaw-dropping 640 horsepower V12 engine, accelerates from from 0 to 100 km per hour in a mere 3 seconds, adding a touch of modern luxury to her stable. The white Lamborghini Gallardo LP560, with its sleek design and refined V10 engine, offers a more accessible way to cruise around town while making a statement. But the Bentley Continental GTC modified by Platinum Motorsport in 2007, even after Jackson's split with Jermaine Dupree, remains a symbol of opulence. With a 552 horsepower W12 engine, it roars with power, a perfect complement to her luxury lifestyle. Last but certainly not least, the Aston Martin V-12 Vanquish. Though not the most expensive, it's the most iconic, known as the Bond car seen in, Die Another Day. With a V12 engine and opulent interior, it's the epitome of grand touring. But the collection continues to evolve. Recent acquisitions include a Lamborghini Aventador worth $1 million and a $2 million Bugatti Veyron. Janet Jackson's car collection is a symphony of classic charm and modern luxury, a testament to her eclectic taste and enduring appreciation for automotive excellence. Business. Not only is she a multi-talented singer, she is also an excellent businessman. First and foremost, her music career has been a symphony of triumphs, gracing the world with hit songs and albums. The sweet sound of success has echoed through album sales, electrifying concert tours, and the licensing of her music. But the silver screen has also beckoned, adding another dimension to her journey. Acting in both films and television shows has not only expanded her artistic horizons but also contributed to her financial prowess. The world of endorsements has been a familiar one for Janet, as she partnered with various brands and companies. From fashion to beauty products and consumer goods, her name became a symbol of quality and style. Fashion and fragrances found a muse in her, as she ventured into creating her own lines of clothing and scents. These endeavors were more than just businesses they were a testament to her sense of aesthetics. As an author, she penned a self-help book titled, True You, A Journey to Finding and Loving Yourself. With her words, she shared wisdom and inspiration, opening a new chapter in her career. And let's not forget her role in film production, where she served as an executive producer on various projects, adding a dash of creativity to her repertoire. But perhaps one of the most resounding sources of her income came from her electrifying concert tours. Janet Jackson's stage presence was magnetic, drawing audiences from around the world, each tour a journey through her musical legacy. Charity, yes, my audience, besides the fact that Janet Jackson is a good singer and businessman, she also has an extremely kind heart. Throughout her remarkable career, she's woven a tapestry of charitable activities and philanthropic efforts that illuminate the depth of her heart. In the realm of education and the performing arts, she's been a guiding light. With the establishment of the Rhythm Nation Scholarship, in collaboration with the United Negro College Fund, she's created a path for young, talented artists to pursue their dreams. This scholarship isn't just about financial assistance it's a beacon of hope for those seeking to make their mark in the performing arts. But her heart extends far beyond the stage, Janet has been a vocal advocate for AIDS and HIV awareness and prevention, lending her voice to organizations dedicated to combating the disease and shedding light on its profound impact on communities. Children's hospitals and medical organizations have also felt the warmth of her generosity, particularly in the realm of pediatric healthcare. Her contributions have touched the lives of countless young patients and their families. In times of natural disasters, like hurricanes, Janet Jackson's benevolence shines through. Her contributions to relief efforts have provided much-needed aid to communities grappling with the aftermath of such catastrophic events. And when it comes to raising awareness and funds for various causes, she's not just a performer she's a philanthropic force. Janet has graced the stage at benefit concerts and events, channeling her talent to support disaster relief and advocate for social justice issues. Janet Jackson's legacy isn't just about her music it's about the harmony she brings to the world through her charitable endeavors. Personal life, Janet Jackson's love life reads like a series of chapters in a captivating novel. At just 18 years old, 
she embarked on a whirlwind romance, eloping with singer James DeBarge in September 1984. But like a fleeting melody, their marriage was annulled in November 1985. In the year that followed, she found herself entangled in another love story, this time with musician Rene Elizondo Jr. Their journey led them to the altar on March 31, 1991, a union kept under lock and key. It wasn't until the symphony of their relationship reached its final crescendo that the divorce was unveiled, shrouded in secrecy. The tides of love shifted once more in January 1999 when the couple decided to part ways, eventually sealing their love story with a divorce in 2003. There was one more note to play in this chapter. A legal symphony unfolded as Elizondo filed a lawsuit against her, seeking an estimated $10 minus $25 million. The year was 2003, and their duet was transitioning to an interlude. Then, from 2002 to 2009, a new chapter opened with music producer Jermaine Dupri. Their love story was a well-publicized note in her journey, but as life's serendipity would have it, Janet's path crossed with Qatari businessman We Sam Almana in 2006. A quiet connection simmered, and by 2010, their love story was in full bloom. Their engagement was a quiet whisper, and they married privately in 2012, away from the spotlight. In January 2017, a beautiful crescendo was reached as Janet gave birth to their son. A new note in the melody of her life, but as life's complex symphony often unfolds, by April 2017, their paths diverged, and it was announced that the couple had separated, leaving the ending of this particular love story hanging in the air, much like an unresolved chord in a song. Net worth. In the captivating tale of Janet Jackson's financial journey, her net worth stands as a testament to her remarkable success. According to Forbes, she's earned her place as one of the highest earning music artists of all time, with an annual income that dances well beyond the $40 million mark. Her earnings have flowed from a symphony of music platforms, from Spotify to Apple Music, Amazon Music, YouTube, and beyond. The financial notes in her composition tell a compelling story, breaking down as follows. Spotify contributes a harmonious $12 million to her income. Apple Music adds a melodious $8 million to the tune. Amazon complements the score with another $8 million. And other companies, adding their own unique notes, bring in an additional $12 million. But the journey of her net worth doesn't stop there. In 2023, her net worth crescendos to an astounding $360 million. However, this tale of financial success also includes an inheritance, as Janet Jackson received a substantial fortune of $60 million from her late brother Michael Jackson's estate. Following his passing, as we dive deeper into the narrative of her wealth, it becomes clear that Janet is not just a master of music but also of financial investments. Her portfolio extends to over 14 properties, a fleet of seven cars, and three luxurious yachts, each a chapter in her life of luxury. Beyond tangible assets, she possesses cash reserves exceeding $25 million, a testament to her financial wisdom. And her financial symphony extends to a portfolio of 14 stocks, with a combined value of $30 million. As she continues to compose her financial legacy, as we draw the curtains on this captivating journey through the life of Janet Jackson, we hope you've been as enthralled as we have in unraveling the enigma that is her world. To stay tuned for more fascinating insights into the lives of icons and the ever-unfolding chapters of the world's most intriguing individuals, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and what you'd like to discover next.